Okay. You should be able to hear me, Mari. Can you? <clears throat> Second viewer has always been there because I use my phone for chat. Oh, yeah, sure, I guess. Uh... Oh, wait, no. Um, I forgot I need to make a new character. That way you can see it from the beginning. by channeling the power of souls brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria that is until the colorless deep fog swept across the land Boletaria was cut off from the outside world and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned but Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old King Alant had roused the old one, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fissure to breach the accursed land. But none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yet the silent chief. Saint Urbain. Skurva the Wanderer, the sixth saint Astraea with her knight Gaal Vinland, and Sage Frake the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Brave soul who fears not death. Guide you to the fissure. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Okay.
just got the greens. <laughs> And I cannot get over how amazing this game looks. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure I um I forgot to change my uh, streaming settings to make it stream at 60 frames. <coughs> <coughs> but uh, that's fine. At least you can see how good it looks. Look at that. Oh, I just realized I ate. <coughs> okay, what I just ate <coughs> was like really salty. So I've got pieces of it in my throat, that's why I'm coughing so much. Ah, I fucked that guy. Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just dying a little bit. And that was the loading time. PS5. Little guy doesn't have the muscle to be so fast. Well, my character. Come on, bitch. Oh shit. Yeah. Well, I've already failed in the flawless hit run. <laughs> I told you, now that you're actually watching, I'm going to perform worse. Uh, you can still go back and watch that replay and see how, like, flawlessly it was. Not the skeleton. Oh, right, right. Okay, so, Mari, um, way this game works is you have an equipment load, like you can have a certain amount of items equipped right now, uh, equip burden, I mean, I have 88.5%, whenever you're over 
You move, attack, and roll slower. Because I'm wearing this heavy ass armor. So I roll super slow. There's going to be a boss up ahead. I'm going to take off my armor and my helmet. Now I'm at 48%. Now look how fast I can roll. I also move a lot faster too. So I'm going to fight the boss without a shirt or helmet. Because it gives me an advantage. I know it's very immersion breaking, but <laughs> it'll help me do better. This is actually the tutorial boss, you're supposed to die to it, but I'm built different. That boss, by the way, is supposed to kill you. It, uh, actually, I didn't kill him uh, on my last playthrough. Like, if you go back and watch the VOD, I actually died. Uh, this time, it did it. that good. I totally didn't, you know, cheese the shit out of him by <laughs> making him do the same attack over and over. But no, no, no. I'm just like good. Anyways, now I'm gonna kick this giant dragon's ass. You ready? First try, here we go. So, no matter what you do there, you die. <laughs> because you're supposed to die and end up here. So, the game has to put you into, into a cutscene to die. Because the game knew I would have kicked his ass. Totally. Oh yeah, cool detail there. Uh, when he punches you, if you're not wearing a helmet, when you slide, blood flies up and so sparks. It's pretty gross. This is the Nexus. It holds to 
together the northern land of Volataria. Thou canst not quit the Nexus, but the five archstones will guide thee to the outer lands. Exactly. We take all the bosses out. The game knows better. And because I took out the first boss. Well, actually, hold on. Um, nah, I don't need this for this playthrough. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, uh, I have sharp stone pieces. Um. I actually don't know the difference between these two helmets. I've never actually... Okay, it just looks really ugly. <laughs> I'll pass. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's the helmet that other knight you bump into is wearing. But anyways, I got some hardstone shards, so before you're even you supposed to... You. Hang on, I'll let this guy services. talk. The name's Baldwin. I'm just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons. Or forge the ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, eh? Anyways, um... But yeah, I can get an upgraded sword way before you're supposed to. I get a plus one sword, T typically does 80 damage, now it does 88 damage. Which, you know, might not seem like much of an is blah, 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 blah. much of an increase, but it's actually pretty good. If you haven't heard, there's another blacksmith at the entrance to Stonefang Mine. He's an eccentric old man. He knows his trade well. He's the only sane one left in a town of soul-starved men. If you do meet Yeah, that is a pretty English no, name. I get it. That stubborn old near will will just chase you off. You come back alive. I need your business. I'm Stockpile Thomas. When the Scourge came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here in this nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. When the scourge came, I abandoned my wife and daughter and fled like a coward. Oh yeah, it's uh, one hell of a mustache. When I came to, I was in this next the hair looks like he's trying to like look 20 outside these meanwhile he's 40. I wish I could do more but <laughs> I am ignorant of the world beyond these walls best of luck to you Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the archstones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed Boletaria? Hmm, he kind of does look like that. Something about his face. Uh, yeah, I almost forget where to go. I haven't played this one a little bit. Kill the couple of <laughs> Smurfs. Yeah, where do you think you got the blue glow from?
Time is it? Oh, can't check. And the sound is missing. Weird. There it is. Okay, uh, okay, I can stream for 15 more minutes. Then my brother's gonna go to bed and I gotta hop off. This is only on PS5. Yes, leaves are the Estes equivalent. That's why this is one of the easier Souls games, because you can just farm the grass and, like, pretty much never die if you yes. do it right. Yeah, there's different grass types. Uh, green ones only heal a tiny little bit. These ones heal like maybe a quarter of your health. Then there's ones that like do half, 75%, and then 100%. Also, typically these guys take three hits to kill. Since I have that plus one uh, sword, they only take two. Which is pretty nice. I wonder if it's only one if I two hand Are they stackable? Yep. Nah, still two hit. Ouch. Okay, you're an asshole. Um, you can carry 50 of the green ones. I think 30, 35 of these ones. 25 of the other you can carry less and less for the more like uh, damage to do sounds like he's in pain who my character or the the enemy is Yeah, oh yeah, no, it's definitely fair. Imagine if you could have 50 of, um, the ones that fully heal you. <laughs> You're pretty broken. But yeah, it's like... Which is pretty ridiculous, but- oh, shit. Um, which is pretty ridiculous. Uh, but when you get human form, you get all of your health back, right? But then other players can invade you and kill you, and you'll lose your body. So, this game tries to fuck you in every way it can. But, I love it. That's why I've played it so much. I only ever play as Knight, because the Knight is just super cool. Really? You're gonna... Asshole. Alright, come here. Think I won't do the old spin around backstab? Okay, no, I won't. But other players were helping you. Other players can help you. Uh, the ones you summon in blue will help you. Uh, ones that invade your game and are red will try and kill you. So if you see blue phantom, they help. Red phantom, they're trying to kill you. Uh, you can turn invasions off, but you have to play the game offline, which means you won't see... The spirits of other players running around, you know how you'll see like a ghost move around sometime? That's another player in their own world. Yeah, blue and red play. Um, let's give me that, fuck boy. Um, but yeah, you won't see messages or the spirits of other players.
But you won't get invaded, so it's up to you. Me, what I do is whenever somebody invades me, if they look like they're too strong, I just leave and uh, load back in. Like, say, like, I can't get invaded right now because I'm not, I'm not in human form, but say somebody invaded me, I save and exit. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I almost did new game. You save and exit, continue. And it's like nothing ever happened. You're right back where you are. That's what I do when people invade me. I don't care if it's lame. People who invade are lame. I don't feel like losing my body because I'm like 12 year old named Timmy has his fucking magic max level and decides to insta kill me. It's like, nah, dude, just go fuck yourself. I'm not doing that. I get overpowered at early levels and invade noobs. Like, dude, <laughs> kill yourself. <laughs> oh yeah, the Souls community is pretty terrible. Like, there's some gems in there, but the majority of the Souls community sucks. Yeah, especially that too. Imagine making your entire way through this like difficult ass level. Somebody invades you and kills you. Have fun restarting like 20, 30 plus minutes. It's like, no, I, uh, I'm i too weak for that guy. I'll come back for him later. But yeah, no, I just, I don't deal with invasions, nor do I invade myself. I just don't, I don't like it. Ah, hello. Damn, Night Shield, really? Um, hmm, it does way more, but. Hmm. I'll think about it. Night Shield is fucking. It's pretty good, and it looks cool. I've actually never had that drop before. <laughs> Streaming luck, I guess. <laughs> this drops loot down at the bottom, that's why I'm punching those. Oh shit, um, oh they're stuck, okay, well this is the perfect time, <laughs> two, firebomb, and goodbye. <laughs> that was pretty perfect, mail breaker, fuck off dude, I don't like that. Go away, go away. Excuse me? No. Okay, now, so your health is halved on soul form, right? Well, right at the beginning of the game, you can get a cling ring, which gives you, instead of having 50% of your health, you have 75% of your health. So now I can take like, what, one, two more hits before dying? Probably like one, but it still helps. Okay. Oh yeah, by the way, so say I end up dying and I restart all the way back there. Instead of having to go fucking, you know, run through all of that again. I can just go through here now. That's the way this game is designed, is you unlock shortcuts once you progress enough. That way you still have to start over and the enemies respawn, but now you have a shortcut which will save you, I'd say like 5-10 minutes, depending on how good you are. 
I don't really die in this game too much. Just because I played the shit out of it. Because I love it. But... Yeah. Uh, I really want to try and... You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try and fight that Red Eye Knight. I know I'm gonna die. And I'm still gonna get upset when I die, but... Whatever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Yeah, this guy is gonna fuck me up. Oh my fucking god, dude. I made a mistake. No, no, go away, go away. I fucked up, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I can take him. I, I need a more open area, not a thin, thin ass hallway. Okay. Actually, wait a minute. I have an idea. I have an idea. Check this out. If this works... I'm amazing. I mean, I'm amazing regardless, but I'm even more amazing if this works. Oh shit. Okay. This is the greatest plan. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can bait him off the edge. Is he coming? Oh my god. Okay. Come on. Fall for it. <laughs> yeah, get fucked, idiot. <laughs> yeah. All right. Take that. Thank you. Oh, New Moon Grass. That's the uh, that's the one that fully recovers your health when you eat it. I can't believe that worked. But yeah, the AI. Okay, because this is a remake. This game originally came out in 2009. So the AI they remade it graphically. They kept the AI the same. So the AI is pretty dumb. So you can you can do shit like that to them. Am I complaining? No, because that guy would have kicked my ass in order. Uh I'll go this way. Come on. Come on, man. was a bold leap a surprise indeed well now that you are here pray thee fend off these dreglings nah you do it <clears throat> nah you do it oh shit I, I'm sorry I didn't I didn't mean to do that much <laughs> I just wanted to push you off you got it Just a flesh wound. Oh fuck. Okay, I might actually need to jump down and up there. Okay, I need to help him. We cool. Thanks for your brave rescue. I am Ostrava of Boletaria. Accept this as a token of my gratitude. Alright, we're cool. About that, you know, the homie now stabbing you in the back. Oh, okay. Something I must do. You sure? 
No matter how far I venture, only the soul starved remain. Is there a single sane person left in Boletaria? <laughs> Not me, I don't speak. Alright, well, he's a very forgiving person. You know. I guess he doesn't really care about taking a blade in the back. Oh, shit. Really? Bitch. Oh no, that knight's gonna kill him. No, 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 no. Stop, fight back, man. Good God, I'm gonna have to babysit this dude. Maybe I shouldn't have pushed him down there. That's just a melee weapon I don't care about, that's why I'm not grabbing it. Where are you... Where do you... He's picking more fights. I didn't mean to hit you. Stood in my fucking way. Can I just do this again? <laughs> well, looks like it. Back off, dude. Let me handle everyone. You're gonna get yourself killed. Oh, fuck. Stop. Oh hey, more hardstone shards. I can probably upgrade my weapon again. No, I need four. I only have three. I need one more. Then I can plus two it. Uh, the maximum you can upgrade your sword, by the way, is... Uh, plus ten. Wait up! You're gonna die. Alright. Yeah, no. Let me go first. By the way, this, um, this ring I'm wearing, uh, what's it called, providential ring, it makes, uh, enemies more likely to drop stuff. That's why I'm getting stuff, like, with almost every, oh shit, with almost every kill. Oh, I didn't even try to dodge you. <laughs> really? How'd that miss? That was pretty cool looking. Alright, uh, fuck you, man. Get out of here. I'm gonna use these. How many souls am I gonna get? A lot. Nice. Oh dear. Okay, well these guys aren't shit to be honest. Okay. Oh, I'm fine. Wish you could do this IRL, but then you'd be a terrorist. <laughs> it's nine, by the way. Well, he's not back here yet. Uh, you can save and quit anywhere, so I don't need to get to like a save point or anything. That's one nice thing about the Souls games. You can literally just leave anywhere and come right back to where you were. It's like probably the only positive about these games. The one and only. Really? There we go. How do I, how do I know that was there? 
I've died to it before. <clears throat> okay, so up ahead to the left, there's going to be this ring guarded by a dragon. But it reduces my equip load quite a bit. So I need to get to 20 endurance and wear that ring. And then I can do fast rolls while wearing all my armor. So that's what I'm going to try and get. By the way, when you block somebody and they do that, they like stagger backwards. They take more damage for a second. I mean, yeah, most games are easier, if you know what you're doing, but especially, like, these games. Really? Good. Ow! Anyways, I'm gonna wait for this dragon to start breathing, because he's one of the dragons guarding that ring. Once he starts the fire animation, he's locked in it. Now. He can't cancel and go back, so while he's doing that, I'm gonna run. Try not to get stuck on every fucking wall. Get your stamina back, bitch. It's called, like, Ring of, like... I forget what it's called. You'll see it. I got the ring, now I just need to level up my endurance. I've played it a lot. Well that, it's not a very long game. It's uh, it's pretty short. Well it's short. I don't know. It's not the longest. It's a decent length, whatever. But I've just played it a lot. Dragon, please don't fuck me while I'm doing this. He's gonna fuck me while I'm doing this. Stop! Okay, I'm fine. Where you going? Oh shit. Okay, I'm fine. That is true. Yeah, games weren't really long back then. Look how fucking slow you roll. In the Souls community, it's called uh, fat rolling. Heavy rolling, fat rolling, whatever. That's the wrong guy. Fucking ass. Okay. Dick. Yeah. 
Again, that's where knowledge of this game is beneficial. Enemies don't get the jump on me, because I know where they are already. <laughs> I say that as I get hit. I don't think I can get the... Oh, there we go. I'm hoping one of them drops a hard stone shard, so I can get a plus two weapon. Maybe, please. Maybe not, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Would be nice though. Dude. <laughs> Um, I literally couldn't tell you. I guess they, like, just ran out of ideas, so we're like, hey, let's put, like, a slime enemy in there. They were just like, okay. You know, I just realized I killed the uh, red-eye knight. I never went back to what he was guarding, so I'm going to do that real quick. By the way, it is incredibly hard to move the camera while I'm running, because I have to hold circle. So, yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, Liam's? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Give me a minute. 